had a guy shot five times down the block. And Sean found him. Yep. Last year, I took the dog out for a walk, and I heard three loud sounds. And I didn't know what they were at first. There was a guy that was shot up my block. I heard somebody screaming for help. Never seen somebody shot right in front of me, and the blood was taking up most of the sidewalk. Sean was definitely traumatized by that shooting. And he said he still sees the blood trailing down the driveway. The incident made me very depressed. I just didn't tell anyone. I didn't want to walk the dogs at all. I'm scared that every time I go near the house, that it might happen again. It's bad. I can't do it. Oh, my god. Which is why we think he won't walk Brooke anymore. You think, or have you asked him? Yeah, we've asked him. But for a year, he didn't tell us the truth. I was very harsh on him. You know, hard. You know, do your, do your chores. Be very responsible. Don't, screaming at him. Screaming you at him. You're not in the street. I think just too weak. You didn't think that actually there could be a possibility that your son had just suffered oh, a huge traumatic event? It affects Sean considerably that his father is hard on him screams and hoops and hollers and says, Ma, what did I do? And I'm like, Daddy probably just had a bad day at work. I try and play it off. But Sean just, all he wants is his father's attention. I knew it was a possibility. But I know he's a very strong, he's a very strong kid. How traumatic for a young boy to witness what he witnessed. Can't Pete figure out the reason why Sean didn't want to walk his dog? That's not rocket science. Since Peter's rarely at home and Kelly's injured and the other little kids are too small, I really wanted just to walk with Sean to ask him about the incident, how he felt. Sean, because you're the only person that walks the dog, I'd like to see you walk. That's all right? Hmm? And we'll go and see how we'll that goes. Go get her leash. OK. If Victoria can't help, I don't know what I will do. I love these dogs. I'd do anything for them. Yes, yeah, she does pull, doesn't she? Yeah, she pulls a lot. I see. Yes, so not such a great uh, walking experience, Sean. No. She just wants to run. She does, bless her heart. She has no uh, opportunity to run. Goodness me. I usually go the back way, which okay. is uh, up the street that way. Ah. This is the area where, where the shooting happened? Right there. Over there. What happened on that day? Um, I was walking Brooke. We got around a little bit back there, and I heard three loud sounds while I was around the corner. I didn't know what they were. I thought it was kids playing with firecrackers or fireworks. Then when I was coming back, I heard somebody screaming for help. So I just ran to my house and told my mother, and then I grabbed her bag, and she ran up. So then when I came over to the house, that's when I saw him, and I completely just spaced out, like, oh my god, this dude was shot, and he's bleeding everywhere. In my head, I was panicking, but after that, I didn't tell anybody. I went to the house, and I just broke down. It's a year later. You haven't been able to walk your dog because of it. What place are you in right now? I'm in the place where I know I have to take responsibilities and walk the dog and that I have to get over what happened. It's done, it's not gonna happen again, that I just need to get over it. It's quite upsetting to hear Sean say he's got to get over this. He seems ashamed that he's finding it tough. He went through a huge trauma. I think you need to heal. If you open up and you give it time and you, you admit to yourself that this was a traumatic experience and you heal yourself. You witness something that most people in their lifetime will never witness. And you dealt with it in an incredibly brave, courageous, amazing way. Zoya is very approachable. You can tell her basically anything and she'll have something to say that's positive instead of negative. Would you like to be able to go on walks in the evening with your dad? Would that make it easier for you to walk? If he's there, I won't be so scared of anything happening again, because I know he'll be right by my side the whole time. OK. I'm glad you said that, because that gives me a plan. <laughs> this is the new harness, and this is going to make your walking life a lot easier. OK. She can still pull with it on, 
but it limits the pulling. Brooke will literally drag me from the minute I walk outside to the minute I tell her to go home. So I don't think I ever will be able to. Here you go. Whoa. OK. Now, this doesn't work for all dogs. Plus, we probably need to resize it. So we'll see. Feels a lot e better now that I know that it's not attached to a collar. OK. So if I pull back on her, the collar's not choking her. The harness is definitely going to help the pulling, but Sean needs a lot more help than that if he's going to be able to feel better about what he witnessed. So now, when she launches ahead, just stop. Just stop. She looks back. When she moves her body back, relaxes on the leash, you can go forward. So just wait. OK, she came back to you. Now you go. You wait for her to give some kind of focus or contact. I taught Sean to stop until Brooke releases. A, you're not reinforcing the pulling, but also you're getting your dog's focus. Good. Yeah, this might take a while. Good. She came around? Good. Now you continue. And tell her, good girl, give her feedback hey, now, OK? Good girl, good girl. No. No, Deb, I don't want you to even say no. No. Nothing. You know, you can talk less to her. There's a lot of things for the dog to focus on other than Sean. But if Sean can get her attention and her focus on him when he needs it, then walking's going to be a lot easier. Now she's walking right by your side. I hope this fear of walking will dissipate and that you can turn your head from the fear that you had after the incident to now the pleasure that you're going to get walking your dog. Walking your dog creates such an amazing bond, even more than you already have. The best thing about having Victoria here is that the dog is finally getting trained. I'm learning from all my mistakes. I'm learning what to do, and her methods really do work. Come on. I've helped Sean take the first step. Now it's up to Peter to help support his son, and I really hope he does that. All right, walk a proudly home. Best right. walk ever. Sean needs help with his trauma. However much he says he doesn't, what place are you in right now? That I just need to get over it. I believe Sean will gain confidence when he goes out walking with his father. It's one of the rare days that Peter's actually home, so I wanted to check in with him and Sean to see how the walk went. Hi. Hi. Hello. How's everything? Good morning. Good, good morning. Caitlin. How was walking the dogs? Did you walk the dogs today? I walked. Uh, he, he was because I, I was actually, I had to go do some errands this morning, so. Oh my gosh, you made the commitment yesterday and you already broke it today. Yep. <gasps> I got up and I left and I didn't realize that I was already halfway down to. If Pete can't even keep his promise for 12 hours, Goodness knows what it's going to be like when I leave. Pete, you are now going to be walking with Sean. OK. You, you're kind of the only person in this house that doesn't really know any of the training that we've done, because you haven't been here. So now I want Sean to teach you. OK. Yeah. Pardon me. I can set Sean on the right path of being able to walk Brooke properly, but only his dad, I think, can give him the real confidence of walking with him in the evening so that he gets over his fear of walking in the area. So take it away, Sean, and teach your dad how to walk her. How do we do this? All right. First, uh, Victoria said that when she starts pulling, you stop, let her come back to you. OK. And then you start going again. OK. Like that, now we start going. Sean was really giving clear directions. It's great for me as a trainer to hear how someone has learned. She just said, wait. OK. Or if you don't feel like waiting, you turn around and say, let's go. And you turn around and go. Wait a little bit. Let's go. And keep going. Mm, let me try it. <clears throat> Come on, Brooke. Come on. Come on. Come on. You could tell from her body language that Brooke really doesn't want to go walking with Peter, and I'm not surprised. She's much more bonded with Sean. And I think past history with Peter has also caused that. It's because she's afraid of you. Now go. Now you go again? Just keep going. I showed my father how to walk Brooke. It was really weird, him being the student and me being the teacher, just the other way around. But actually, really good to see him 
in his calm state. Nope. Victoria said, don't just say anything, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Okay. I want Sean and Peter to bond in their walk, so I'm going to take a step back and send them on their way. I feel better now that I know that I'm not alone with walking the dog, so I have you, I have the dogs, and I'm not worrying about what happened. Good. I'm proud of Sean walking the dog. I think that's a nice stress reliever, uh, also a good exercise and communication tool that I can have with Sean. Well, I'm going to take this responsibility of walking the dog in the morning. OK. And then I'll do it at night. I'll when do you're it not... with you at night. I hope it's going to happen. I think it will. Hopefully, he'll keep up with what he says. Come on, girl. Sean, for you, how do you feel now after we did work together? I'm not afraid to walk the dogs. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm not worried about being dragged down the street now that Brooke has the harness and she's not pulling at all. I'm glad I get to walk with my dad. I'm really glad that you got to that point. I felt like when I first came here, it was every man for themselves. All the family were working um, against each other. Now, I hope they work with each other. Princess, come on. Since Victoria was here last, um, Pete actually walks the dogs. Come on. I'm proud of Sean. Uh, he stepped up a lot the past couple of weeks. Walking with Sean has been really, really good. A very good communication with him. I really want to have a father bond relationship more than what we did in the past. How was school today? It was good. Uh, I'm still getting used to where my classes are. It's been fun walking the dogs with my dad. Our relationship's gotten better. He's not yelling at me. Home sweet home.